new Renogy MPP2 controller arrived. I bought this to replace the PMW controller that I had inside the RV. Comes in this nice uh, box, pretty sturdy. Um, here are the key features of the MPP2 controller. Um, I brought the 20 amp um, version of this one. Here is the uh, menu that comes along with it. Just going to browse through these uh, sheets here so you can just take a look at uh, the, um, the manual. Shows you how to install it, how to place it, uh, position it. And uh, let me just show you here how big it is. It's pretty big. It's bigger than I actually thought. And it takes a maximum um, gauge wire of uh, 8 WGs. Took everything out of the box and like I said, it's pretty sturdy. You can tell it's pretty well made. And here are the uh, the screws for uh, connecting the wires. Um, and they're pre they're pretty good size so that uh, it'll hold your wire really um, nice and tight in there. Heat sink in the back. Don't know if I will be um, hanging this up or just placing it in one of the cabinets. Here are the um, the um, attachments for um, installing. Go ahead and take out this um, PWM controller. I know it's upside down, but that was the best situation with the cables coming out. Actually, the RV came with the solar controller, but the one that it came with, it's only rated for a 40 watt panel. And I have purchased a 100 watt energy panel. I've already placed that on top of the RV. So now I'm switching out the controllers. I do have a lithium battery that I'm going to be installing on here. It's a small lithium battery, but um, it's more more efficient. It's much more efficient than the flood leaded um, battery that I have now. I have to extend the wires; it's, it's too short. So I'm going to go ahead and connect them using these uh, wire connectors. Making sure they fit. Can you crimp them off? Make a nice clean cut. Put inside the uh, connector. Now these connectors take a little bit of a uh, pressure to uh, close them up. So. If you see me struggling here, that's what it is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use these pliers. Get a good connection. Tugging on them. They seem to be fine. Now to install the other side. don't think these will be a permanent installation. I'll probably go ahead and change out the wires. So it'll be one um, nice free flowing wire to the battery without any connectors. But I want to go ahead and uh, connect this MPPT to the solar panel so I can take a look at see how it works. And you have to tighten these so that you hear the click. There you go. Mm -hmm. 
going to go ahead and connect the battery to the MPP controller first, which you should always do. Otherwise, if you connect the solar panels first, um, the um, energy needs somewhere to go. And if you only connect it to the MPPT first, you may damage the controller. So always connect your battery terminals first before controlling, before um, connecting the, uh, the solar panel wires. Now I'm just a beginner the uh, DIYer. Um, most of what I, I, I know and I've learned from watching other videos and doing some research on the internet. So this in no way, shape or form um, is the um, is showing you how to do things properly. It's showing you how I went ahead and connected my system. And if I can do this, most of you can do it yourselves as well. Pretty straightforward installation. Now the MPPT controller has power. Next I will take the negative and the positive wires from the solar panel and install them into the MPPT controller. And once again, always always install the battery connection first. Pretty simple installation. Two wires in, two wires out. It shows you here that it's up and running. The Rover, Renergy Rover 20 amp MPPT controller. Purchase it on Amazon. I'll go ahead and put a link down below. Here's the 100 watt solar panel that I installed last weekend. I went ahead and replaced the 41. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more adventures.